being able to access the file um, in a timely manner is really important for us so we can see the patient and have a background before we go in um, and at times if we can't access that file often we'll have to do ret retrospective entries um, or have to do notes on a separate progress note and add them in later on so it does affect the timeliness of our documentation. On inpatient rehab, we have a, a diary up each end that goes through our admissions and our discharges. So we physically have to check that diary and see what's written down, who's being admitted and who's being discharged on that day. Um, that's usually kept in the nurses station on each ward and it's monitored by the ward clerks, but at times it can go off the ward. So when patients are referred to us currently um, on the patient flow manager system, we only get limited information about the referral reason. Moving to the EMR, um, I guess we'll have that ability to look at all the patient information that's there, their diagnosis, past medical history, who else is involved, um, and maybe have a better understanding of why they've been referred to us and what they need out of our service. Um, I suppose that's important to us knowing reason for referral so we can prioritise um, our workflow and our, our caseload, I suppose, um, and being able to see patients that are our priority is really important for us in terms of discharge planning, in terms of patient safety and patient care. So what I'm most excited about with the EMR being implemented is having accessibility to all the patient's information and I think that will really positively impact on our patient care um, and our prioritisation as well.